So, hello guys. Again, we are going to make the origami spider second part. So, here is our origami spider. So, this is how it looks. Now, to do the next one, we are going to take this side on this, then fold the crease on this line to this line. So, after you do that, you have to make a sink fold along that. So, I'm going to make the crease fold. Now, I'm going to do the same thing to this side. So, I'm just going to keep on doing the fold on the crease fold to make a proper, like, a line. And to get the thin layer for the spider. Okay. So now we did that. And now the next step is going to be to make a, again a rabbit ear fold on the front legs. And as we are also done with the fangs. But we just need a bit more detail about that. So, to make that, I'm just going to push this inwards like that. And then, I'm going to just make the shape like as if it's a spider. Like a kind of design, which it looks like a spider. It comes like this. Something like the spider's climbing it. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I'll just meet you after I do that. So now I finished the model like that. So we finished the front legs. Now we have to come on the back legs. And all these folds. So now, on. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, so at the back legs. So we get all these. So take only two of those rabbit ear folds. Those two, I'm gonna take. And now I'm gonna fold it right there. Yeah, and the rest of them should be again knocked by the thing we just did on the, like, on this side. On the fangs. So, first turn back. Or you also can try turning it front to make a better locking and a better balance. So, I'll just meet you after I just do all the things to save the time up. Okay, I have finished that. So, we get two on this side. And two on this side. So you would be wondering, but we just have like two of them. Then how will we have like four of them? Right? So now, I'm going to fold this like that. So now, first, we're going to just make the back legs proper. Like, again, making a rabbit ear fold on the back legs. So, I finished one of the gardener, and if you want, you can make an other, um, like a rabbit ear fold, if you want it more thinner. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing.
come on. And origami is designed by myself. Okay. So now we have done the back legs and the front legs. So now we have to draw or uh, do the next legs, which is again the middle legs, which is going to be with this kind of flap, the square box you get. So now when you open, you get like three of them. So two are for knocking and one is for the use for the next leg. So just knock those legs. Something like. First, open this up. Then again, just push this out. Yeah, like that. Just push it out to make another knockings. Or else the spider would always come like a heart. And I'll just meet you after I do the same thing. The next side. Okay, so I've done like that. Now we'll come at the closer rook. So now I'm gonna remove that. And then the Y, um, the flap we have, we're going to push that. And make an other, um, like we're gonna make an other, um, a rabbit ear fold. The rabbit ear fold is literally common or you. Something like that. Like that. So then we get one more flap out. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just wait a minute. After that, I'm doing the rubbing fold. Okay. Yeah. I'm done. So two of them are done with the rabbit ear fold. So, now, this is almost going to be the last step. But so we have some kind of complicatings to make. So, now, on the back side, you have to take out one of that, which is the middle one. The middle one. And take it out. To make, like, the spiders viewing the web. And next, fold that a bit up. And then... Make another mountain fold to make it a bit down and to look like a real spot of a real spider's like a back. So we're going to fold that like this. And now this is going to be um, the second last step. <laughs> so here on the sides, where you get this flat. So first fold and make a, again a rabbit ear fold and make it go down something like this after make the designing of the leg um, here we got all the legs now and take the front leg a bit near to represent that it's almost a leg itself like the spider gets like one leg, two legs at the back, and the two legs at the front. So I'm going to do the same thing to the next side. Okay. And, and now, this is going to be the last and final step. You see these things. And then just make a bit down and a little curvy. After that, we're done with the origami. I'll just show you how I made it. Now, we're done with the spider. So now, it doesn't go like the harp, like, like this. And now, it's fully clear. And this is the mud spider. Oh, sorry. Just gonna get that. So, guys, just comment down how do you like spider? Something like that. 
and this is where spider stitches the web. I'm not doing the other part. Yep, this part. And just see the fangs. These two are the fangs. Okay, guys. Bye. Let's meet to the next origami.